Hello everybody and welcome back to Modded Minecraft coming to you from the Kapowcraft Age of Heroes server. This is Kapowcraft Season 4 and we are back at the bottom of the roguelike dungeon where we're going to continue down here. After returning back to base and dropping a whole bunch of stuff off, I figured I might as well grab a couple of satchels to bring along with me. Satchels have about two chests. Well, no, one chest and an additional row. That's what, 27, 36 spots for holding. So I figure between three satchels, we should have enough to go ahead and put away anything we happen to grab. Also made myself a diamond shield and it went and enchanted that as well. So now we actually have a shield to use while going through this. And we're going to continue along our way right around the corner here. Let's go ahead and see what we can find down this way. We did find a wither skeleton skull right there. So maybe we'll be able to find a little bit more. But I'm really interested in what we're going to find throughout this area. I also brought some dirt blocks with me so I can do things like fill these in as I go and hopefully not get shot off the edge. But we're going to go ahead and see what we can find down here as I just heard a wither skeleton somewhere. I'm also going to need some torches here. I got to remember that. So let's go ahead and start torching this up a little bit. Ow. Ow. I need, I need my, I need my, I need my weapon. There we go. Now we got something going on. All right, let's start blocking. Then we can rush in here and, oh, Wither Skeleton. Hi, how you doing? All right, let's, let's not deal with that anymore. Great. All right, so not too bad. That was a little bit of a fight, a little bit of a scare. I didn't get to my weapon as quickly as I would have liked to, but we are still going forward. And we're going to see what we can, oh, and there's another Wither Skeleton. Right? Yes, he is. Can I hit him from here? Oh, I can. Nice. I got him in the corner. Perfect. Okay. Does that mean we have a spawner here? Yes, it does. And we have... Is that specifically a wither skeleton? I don't think so. That looks like a regular skeleton there. But we do have a chest along the back. What do we got? Fire protection, potion of swiftness... Soulbound Protection 3 Leather Tunic. Yay. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and grab all that. Do we have another spawner here? No, we do not. But that is a precious quartz block. So we're going to take all those. Definitely love the quartz blocks. Let's see if we can find something in here. Hey, there we go. There's another spawner, which means that there's also, if you can see it, barely see it through the spawner, there's a chest back there. Right there. And we'll just grab all that stuff as well. And, and my inventory's full already. Oh, but I got some junk in there that I don't need. These blocks, uh, we're we'll just going to throw those out. We can easily make those. The rotten flesh we don't need, but the other stuff, some of the other stuff we'll keep. And the rest of this we're just going to throw out. Just not needed. And you know what? I'm just going to break it. I'm going to want the chests anyways now that I think about it. So we're just going to go ahead and break those and grab them and take that along with me. Okay, do we have anything else? Oh, we have another one. We have two more. That's always nice to see. So we have two chests in here. What are we going to find? A snowball, potion of healing. A grave spade, which is efficiency and unbreaking. Yeah, that's all right. Fire shield, no idea what that does. Another leather tunic with thorns. Okay. And oh, just mushroom stew. 
So we'll grab all that. And sadly, I think we're at the end of this part. Throw away the stuff we don't need. All right, and now, yeah, so we're at the end of this. So let me get back and put some stuff away as we run through here. And then we'll come back and see where we're heading off to next. All right, as I'm ga emptying this place out, I got to bring you back to take a look at this. We have a baby wither skeleton holding a wither skeleton skull. I guess I'm kind of hoping for two skulls on this one. Or maybe I'll just get poisoned and why not? And why not? Something else is coming after me too. But I'm sorry, this is just too funny. I don't know if something else is hitting me or what? All right, there it is dead there. And do we get... What do we get? Let's get rid of some stuff. And I don't think we're getting... Nope, doesn't look like we're getting a wither skeleton skull. Well, that's unfortunate. But that was kind of funny to look at. That was actually very amusing to look at. All right, let's keep on emptying this place out. So I finally got this place cleared out. And let's go ahead and take a walk through here and see exactly what we got. We have this chest here which has an interesting black shield, a diamond axe with ruin tube. That's really nice. So let's go ahead and grab this chest out of here. And let's see here. We have one, two. Three. Okay, there's three spawners. And if we cut through here, we'll have so three, four, five. And then we'll cut through this way a little bit. Six. And we keep on going. We have another chest there, and ooh, I didn't light this one area up. Let me do that real quick. So what were we at? Is it six spawners? We have a poison spider spawner down there. That's going to be seven. Oh, nope, one right there, eight. And there's this chest here with leech three. No idea what that does. It's another one we're going to have to look up. So what were we at? Eight. And then I made a mistake down here. Let's let's get rid of this. This was an entire room. Right? I went and opened a chest that was in this room. And it exploded. It caused a whole bunch of explosion. I thought it was a creeper at first, turned around. Ran out of the room, and next thing I know, the entire thing went up in an explosion. And we got to see a whole bunch of nether stuff. Ooh, I see a chest down there. And that is making me walk around funny. Stop it. See a couple of chests down there. That That's kind of encouraging. There's probably two more along there as well. I got to get to that room. But first things first, we have to go take on... The poison spiders, I believe, which are down this way. And we got to clear out all these vines because this stuff is just making it hard to do anything. But yeah, they're down there and I can hear them walking around. See, ah, oh, see that? That's the one that, that, that just shoots. Shoots at you and can actually get you stuck inside of a web. It shoots at you. That's not cool. So we got some things to do. Got to clear out some of these vines so we can actually get through this and get that done. So let me go ahead and try to do this. I'm not going to cut out on this one. 
Instead, I just want to try to get through it. Problem is, in order to get rid of those webs, I need a sword or a pair of shears. And I don't have either. No, Cake Spider, get out of here. Because this glaive really doesn't do much when it comes to those spider webs. If we take a look, yeah, see, just this and does that. Get out of here. Come on, come and get me. You think you can get me? And they're coming like crazy. So I need to get a sword that I possibly threw away. Or I need to get another piece of iron because I know we did get one piece of iron. Let's take a look here. It is not in that bag and no sword in that bag either. Did I get another one? Please tell me I got a sword. I don't see a sword. There's the iron. But one piece of iron is not going to help us. I need at least two to make a sword. So I think I'm going to actually open up some of these spawners and see if we can get a skeleton with a sword and take his sword. All right, let me see what I can do and we'll come back. So what I ended up doing was doing a little bit of actual mining around here just to get a couple pieces of iron and went ahead and smelted that up in a furnace. And now we're going to come ahead and come on through here. And we're going to try and take out this stuff. So, like I said, there's a spawner back there somewhere. And, yep, I just activated. I need to get to it to stop it. And there is a ton of webs around here. Holy cow. You know what? This spawner, I'm just going to take it out. I hate these things with a passion. All because of that. All because of that poison effect. But all right, let's start clearing more of these out. If there's another spawner, I'm going to be very, very upset. I'm guessing there's not. There could be. Because I have no idea what is down in these roguelike dungeons. This is my first time handling this kind of stuff. But I'm adventuring and we are heroes. We got to find out what's going on. So let me dig all this out and see if we can't find some way to go this way, if there is anything. And I'll go ahead and bring you back in just a minute. Actually, you know what? I won't do that quite yet. Let's first, let's see what's in the chest. Efficiency 2 and an emerald is nice. A free diamond shovel can't beat that. All right, I'll be glad to take all that stuff. Uh, gimme, 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 gimme. All right. So now I'll go ahead and get all these webs out of here and see if there's something else. All right. So in the spider room, I did not find another way to go outside of here. But what I did find was two more chests over here waiting for us. Let's go ahead and crank these open and see if we get anything good. Uh, iron shovel with smelting. On smelting on a shovel doesn't really make much sense, but okay. Uh, oh, some bits of iron. Uh, strength 2 enchanted book. That's not bad. All right. So we'll be glad to take that stuff. Might as well. And apparently we just got something for that. What did we just get? Fortune's son obtained Fortune 3. I don't remember obtaining Fortune 3. Oh, it was on the shovel. That's why we got Fortune 3. All right. So let's grab all this stuff and then go to the next uh, hallway back at where we came down at. So here we are at the next hallway going down. And I was kind of checking out a little bit. And I got close. And I can see that there's a spawner there that's activated from here. Unfortunately, what I saw spawn in, I believe, was Enderman. Which, if this is an Enderman spawner, that is going to be awesome. I am going to farm this thing as much as possible to get Ender Pearls. But let me go ahead and try to get in here and light this up a bit. 
And let's take a look. Yes, that is an Enderman spawner. Oh, I love it. I simply love it. I'm going to try to get some of these guys activated. See if I can get them to come after me here. This could be bad. This could be good. And I need to get rid of some things in the way here. So let's knock out some of that. And let's try to get rid of some of this. These vines are just a pain in the butt. Okay, I got an Enderman right there. Let's see if I can possibly... Nope, that's even better. Had one just spawn in. Hey, buddy, come get me. Oh, come on. Are you going to tell me you can't get through the, the way? Get over here. We're going to have to take out those iron bars, apparently. Come on, you. 62 and a half health. Oh, boy. But I am loving the fact that we now have a way to get ender pearls down here. Oh, it's going to be so nice. But all right, let me work on clearing this out a little bit and... We'll get back and go from there. So this Enderman spawner is definitely going to change a lot of things for me. And I just went up because I had to repair some of my items and get myself a brand new helmet. I lost the protect or the respiration three, but we got protection three and soul bounce a little bit better. At least as far as coming down into this little dungeon is concerned. And what is that door? Does that lead anywhere? The pressure plate. Which doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so we got that. <laughs> sure. All right, so I want to hurry up and get through this thing so that I can take this room itself it completely take everything out of it and build myself a little farm with this Enderman spawner. It's going to be great. So I'm going to be pretty much speeding through the rest of this so I can get started on this in the next episode. So let me go ahead and go through this level like crazy and I'll bring you back if we find anything of interest. So I got noises going off everywhere, and let's go ahead and come in here and take a look at what we have found so far. One, we found another one of these waterway rooms, which this one has no spawners this time, but that's no big deal. And in the chest, we have a lure two book and some gold. Once again, I'll be glad to take that. And I, like I said, I got lots of noises going off. Holy cow, is it loud. Let's go take a look at one of the other rooms here. And all these vines. All these vines keep slowing me down in everything I'm trying to do. So down this way, we have yet again another waterway room. And a silverfish. Coming out of an area where it guess it shouldn't be. But uh, once again, there's no spawners over in this area except for this one right here. But we have another chest back here that has sweeping edge two stone skin. Oh, what do we got? Another silverfish. Holy cow. If I die by a silverfish, that's going to be really embarrassing. And that's all coming from, oh, that silverfish spawner right there. Can't stand those things. As I was saying, we had that sweeping edge book. We also have a protection three flame book and a couple of small other minor things and another silverfish to deal with so let me go ahead and break that and take it and let me get out of here so that I can get away from that spawner except that I, my inventory's full so let's get rid of some of this stuff let's just trash it just be gone with it and I know there's another silverfish yep there he is get out of here so once again, I'm going to continue to trash things here in order to pick up what's on the ground. And we're going to get out of here. Get away from the silverfish spawner. Yep, that's it there. Okay, so come here. All right, let's get away from this spawner so we don't have to worry about the silverfish anymore. 
There was another skeleton skull there, but that's no big deal. And that stuff don't care. And here we have another sarcophagus room. Where we got to go in there and deal with zombies and skeletons and whatnot. Once again, I'm going to try to rush in and light everything up. Try to stay away far enough that the spawners are not um, activated. And let's go. Let's rush it. Try to light it up as much as possible. Especially these back areas, too. Those are good areas for those spawners to go off. And okay, that should be good. Now let's take a look around here inside. I guess the tomb here. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. What do we have on these ones? anything any spawners in oh, i know there's at least one spawner in here that we're gonna find a chest behind somewhere there's one that's not very helpful when they slide down like that there's two and i'm guessing that's gonna be it i'd be surprised if there's any more than two at the moment Ooh, we had two i am surprised there's three all right, so we have three chests to check out here from these spawners and let's not forget our torches What do we have in this one anything good insight one ghostly? I have no idea what that ghostly does And that's really about it and my inventory is still kind of full. So uh, we got to empty some of this stuff out of here So let's just throw things up there Ooh efficiency unbreaking and mending i like finding that even though it's iron i'm okay with that i guess i'll hold on to the shovel in case i need to replace my current one and let's go ahead and break this box and grab all that stuff well even with that it filled up my inventory so we're just gonna throw all that stuff up there all right, now let's see what else we have on these other two. Well, for one, I need to get on the other side of this gravel. And let's go ahead and throw a torch back here. Let me go and replace that sword for right now. Throw that torch back there so we don't get bothered. And what do we have? A, a glowstone extract called Luma. Well, I have no idea what that does. All right, let's go ahead and grab that chest. My inventory full again already. Indeed it is. We got to get rid of some of this stone stuff that we don't need. But we keep on grabbing it back. I keep on grabbing the block of quartz because quartz is kind of hard to come by. At least at the moment. So we can throw all that stuff in there. Now we have one more chest to look at. We can go ahead and get to it from underneath here. What do we got? Power 2, Depth Strider 1, and Blast Protection 3. And really that's about it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and break that chest, grab all those things. I still don't know what the different color spawner means. That's something I'm going to have to look up. I don't know why it's there. Does F3 screen give me any kind of info as far as what I'm looking at? Just says mob underscore spawner. So, okay. I'll have to look to see if that different color means anything. I don't think it does, but you never know. And let's not forget to grab my lovely quartz here. All right. So let me go ahead and keep on exploring and see if we can't find something else. We have the beginning of that whole nether entrance, nether entrance thing. And that's not good. That's an explosion. <laughs> that was a trap chest. I'm going to have to just stop opening chests now at this point and just break them to get the contents. I have no idea what was inside there. Apparently, it looks like a couple potions and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on down there and take a look. Let me just grab that water. And we'll hop on down here and try to grab this stuff. 
Okay, now we can go ahead and take a look at what was in that chest that didn't get blown up. Uh, potion of healing, some redstone. Really, that's about it. No interest there. But this, this is what interests, interests me the most. And I think this is going to be our way down to the next level. Definitely looks like it. We got some little bit of stuff to clear out over here. Hopefully nothing too much. Uh, Mr. Dispenser, you got... No, nothing in it. Okay. So I guess we can go ahead and break these blocks. Now, I do see that mycelium right there. I kind of want to pick that up, but at the same time, that... Uh, I need a silk touch in order to do so. So that's a bit of a fall to water. We don't want to bother going down there, but we definitely need to light this up. And we need to put some kind of covering over there. Thankfully, we have some dirt. So let's just cover this up real quick. And I'm not even going to bother opening that chest this time. I'm just going to straight out break it. I'm getting tired of the traps. And with the way that chest was facing, it was facing against the wall. So I wouldn't have been able to tell if it was a trap chest or not. So let's see what kind of things we got here. Let me actually start just putting stuff away in this as we go. Arrow of fire resistance. Arrow of swiftness. See, those are like good arrows. Stone sword, we don't need that. So why would we pick up beneficial arrows? I don't quite understand that one. I just don't get it. But we're going to put away everything that's not enchanted. We're not taken. I will take the dispensers, though. I do like that. That means I don't have to make them. I'm cool with that. I don't want to make them. It's a pain to make dispensers. I'll take them for now. But that is actually the end of this level. I'm done with this level. There's only one more. At least I think there's only one more level to go. We are on Y20. So if I go down that staircase, let's let's actually see. Let's go down the staircase and see what level we're at down there. And I want to get these out of the way so they don't slow me down if I have to run. I thought I just broke that. So let me clear out these things. All right. This worries me. I hear all sorts of noises down there, and it's worrying. Okay, they're they're behind bars. Bars all around. Okay. So coming on down, we are at level 10. So this has got to be the bottom of this, because we have mines going underneath this. And holy cow, are they loud. Uh, where's the hostile creatures? Let's just take that down a bit. Wow, they were incredibly loud. All right, so we got this last one to go through, and this kind of worries me with all these guys just like right here. But also, I did hear blazes close by. Or I heard blazes. Whoa, where'd you come from? Get out of here. Oh, there's a spawner right there. That's where he came from. But as I was saying, the, the, I, I heard blazes down this way. So we're going to have to do something about them for certain. Where's the torches? And let me get some torches throughout here to try and light this up a bit so we don't get any more spawns inside this area. Oh, you little... Get out of here. That's a baby zombie villager. Ah, it's taking forever to kill. Holy cow. Okay, let's try that again. So we're going to start going through here. We'll see what's around, and we'll come on back. So all in all, this has been a pretty amazing little dungeon here that we have going on. And this is going to be probably our last room to go through, since this is the one that has those all those chests that were down here. And... I'm a little concerned that things are going to start spawning in. There's already been a skeleton that did spawn in here. That kind of came and got me a little bit, but not too harsh. 
my real concern is all the holes that are around that are leading down to lava so we need to do something to take care of that real quick i'm going to go ahead and throw these nether bricks down there try to plug up some of these lava holes because <laughs> that's one of the last things i want is to fall into one of those and the question is how many are around oh yeah look at that it's just flowing lava okay all right well you know what let's go ahead and take a peek inside these chests and once again i'm not going to open the chests. i'm just going to break them because last time the chest exploded on me so let's go ahead and break them open all right so i have one more empty satchel left and not much room in the others so let's go ahead and get this one and what did we get we got oh looting three already got that on there protection four not bad speed two shield don't need and all that other stuff we don't need all right let's see what we got here and i thought i saw more but i guess not we need to get some golden carrots uh we don't need the cooked pork chop that's for certain Got a pretty nice iron sword there. But all right, let's try to get some of the things put away here and we'll move on to the next two chests over here. So let's put away the boots and the books. And we do have room in some of these other ones. Oh, we definitely don't need the rotten flesh. Uh, is this where we have the slime ball? No. What kind of things do we have in there? A uh, couple of those. And paper. Why is that there? That doesn't belong there. All right, let's see about this last satchel. What kind of things can we combine? There's the slime ball. And that's really about it. So paper there. And all right, let's uh, knock this one open. We just got another goal for needle sharp, which is to obtain sharpness five. So we got sharpness five on something. It's on the golden sword. But all right, let me go ahead and grab through all this. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and grab all these things, and we're going to go back to base and do a little preview of everything that we got. So after going through that entire roguelike dungeon, let's take a look at what we brought back with us. This includes the last episode and this episode. We went and got all of this armor, tools, and weapons. Some of the diamond stuff is okay with the protection 4, but that's almost destroyed. We have this fresh one of protection 4, soul bound, and unbreaking. That's nice to have protection three and just a plain old diamond just chest plate not bad the sword we got is pretty incredible with sharpness five unbreaking and mending the and mending part is my favorite there we had decent pickaxe but it's almost destroyed and we got a pretty good axe there that i'm going to start using this other axe that has Ruined 2 on it. Ruined is, as far as I know, means it ignores armor, I believe. So, we got that. Otherwise, we, everything else in here is pretty low-level, standard-type stuff. I mean, we got an iron sword here with looting 3, but once again, it is an iron sword, not a diamond sword. That kind of stuff. So, that's not bad. That's just armors and tools and stuff. This, though, this is the box that has all the additional stuff in it. There was a block of diamond down there. That was nice to find. And we got a couple emeralds, some gold, some iron. Uh, we got quite a few blaze rods from killing the blazes from the blaze spawners, which I unfortunately had to take out. I know we shouldn't be taking out spawners, but... They were getting quite in the way and making things hard on me. I got quite a few block of quartz, lots of bones, lots of spider webs and string. But the books themselves, Leech 3, I have no idea what that does. But I kind of explained with that one. I thought what it does. We got the smelting book, which is nice. 
but also not so nice because with the pulverizer and the stuff from thermal dynamics thermal foundations and thermal expansion smelting really isn't something we want but we did get another looting and we got a couple of efficiency fours there's our efficiency four we got lure three got a whole bunch of stuff here gills i have no idea what that one does gotta look that one up multi-shot four that is a nice one to have that that's really nice and the vorpal here i really need to look up what the vorpal does as well we got a lot of good books a lot of good books out of that mining boost is another one i gotta look up so overall it was a very successful trip so glad we got the nether wart and now for the next weeks for weeks coming up on stream when it comes oh it's snowing nice when it comes to that little area yeah we're going to be completely digging that out emptying it down and seeing what it's all about but as for now, I'm going to have to say thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you enjoyed the roguelike dungeon there. That was pretty crazy, and I kind of can't wait to do another one. It's going to be fun. So till next time, everybody, take care, be well, and I hope to see you again soon.